Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Games Beth here. Today, let's learn how to open a door anytime we click on something. So in this case, we'll be clicking on a part and then it'll open a door anytime we click on that part. So first things first, of course, let's go ahead and create our door. So inside of our workspace, let's go ahead and spawn in a part and then let's rename that to door. Next up, let's go ahead and create a duplicate of our door part and then let's move it up so that it's directly above our door part. And then of course, let's go ahead and rename that part to end POS, short for position. So just end position. So our end position part, what we wanna do is go ahead and set the transparency of it to one. Cool. Now, of course, we just have to go ahead and create our button that you know we want to click to open the door. So obviously I'm not the greatest modeler out there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a simple button and then yeah, go ahead and change that to black, cool. And then create a little red part on top of it so that people know that they are supposed to click on this red part, cool, looks good. So for this red part though, I just want to make sure to rename that to button because I will be referencing this inside of my script in just a second. Cool, so that's what we have so far. Go ahead and highlight all of our parts and then group them inside of a model. Alrighty, so we have a button inside of our model, a door, the end position part, which is transparent, and a part that just belongs with the button, uh, but we have no use for this part. Cool, sweet. So go ahead and add an int value and then rename this int value to time, and then set the value to whatever you want. I'm gonna set it to two, which just means that it takes two seconds for the door to open and close. Awesome, so add a script inside of our model and oh, one more thing, let's add a click detector inside of our button. So with this script, it'll look a little bit familiar to a previous script that we've used for a door model. And we're actually just going to be adding uh, a function so that we'll be able to use our click detector. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set our variables, which references our entire model, the end position part, our actual door part, our button, the click detector, a debounce, as well as a tween service, our tween service. So we're gonna go ahead and set the tween information. So for the time, since we already added an int value, we're gonna go ahead and do model.time.value. And we're gonna set our easing style to sign, the easing direction to out. We don't want our tween to repeat, uh, but we do want our part to reverse and then no delays as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a function, an on mouse click function where if not activated, then our debounce is going to be equal to true. And then we're going to set our tween information where the door is going to open all the way up until it reaches the end position part. And then it's going to wait until that task is finished and then it's going to reverse and then the debounce is going to equal to false. And then we're gonna go ahead and call our function. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop inside of our game to test it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that red button and my door should open. Yay, it works. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Full scripts and model will be on our website at Buzzy dot gg link in the description so as always guys have fun creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace